Good day viewers, welcome to the Women's Health Channel. Today I'll be talking about abdominal massage, one of the harmful cultural practices that affect women's health in Nigeria. Abdominal massage is prevalent in Nigeria. It is done all over Nigeria. If you've been running the antenatal clinics, you'd have heard your pregnant uh, mothers tell you I'm going to rub or I'm going to massage or I'm going to meet a mama you know to turn my tummy to make my baby stronger because that is the belief system that has been handed over to our mothers there are reasons why they patronize our TBS why they patronize these people who perform massages for them one of the reasons is that these people are taught to be friendlier. These people grew up with them in their societies or their environments, you know. These people may be cheaper. Another reason is that um, because of the aversion to modern obstetric care, modern methods of um, delivery. For example, there are some places in Nigeria where there is great aversion for cesarean sections. There are a lot of places. Most of our women, when you tell them, oh, you need a cesarean section, your baby is coming with the legs, they tell you, no, they're going to meet a mama somewhere, and they come back with complications. There are also some places where the, 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 the husbands will tell their wives to confess that they were not faithful. That was why their labor got obstructed, and that is why they couldn't deliver. So there are lots of reasons. Some other reasons are this. These um, people who perform this massage, we tell them that, oh, your baby has left the tummy. The baby is now in the legs, in the thighs, or the baby is in the waistline. Of course, you know that babies stay inside the womb for the gestational period. Babies don't go from the womb to the waist or the legs or the thighs. So our women need to be educated. Unfortunately, even our educated folks, undergraduates, graduates, PhD holders, they believe these people. Instead of going to read, instead of seeking proper information. How is this rubbing done? I've interviewed some women and they will tell you that sometimes it is done vigorously. Sometimes it is not so vigorous. All they do is that they miss some leaves, components with some other herbal components, and they use it to massage the tummy. Sometimes it's vigorous. I had a situation where a woman carrying a twin pregnancy went to massage, and she ended up rupturing the spleen. Sometimes they would rupture the womb. And when they rupture, they lose a lot of blood into the tummy space. The baby dies in the process. You will now be left with struggling to save the mother. Sometimes you end up removing the mother's womb if you cannot repair it. And she ends her reproductive career in the process. And all these are preventable. They are not necessary. If you book your antenatal clinic in a recognized institution with experts, they will teach you what to do. The processes, the stages, the drugs you take, everything you need for the antenatal process till you deliver. You and your baby will be fully optimized. But if you go meet quacks, you go meet people who are not experienced, you will end up with a bad outcome, probably. And that is not supposed to be. If you've got a scar in your womb before previous caesarean session, previous fibroid operation, you go and patronize these people and they do their massage for you, they can rupture your womb. If you are carrying a baby that is presenting with the legs and they tell you, oh, you may need a cesarean session, you go meet these people, they can rupture your womb, they can separate your 
placenta and you start bleeding heavily torrentially and sometimes before you come to the hospital for help you are dead we don't want our women to die anymore enough is enough for these needless deaths we want our women to know that there are recognized institutions there are public hospitals with experts everywhere there are private hospitals with experts everywhere seek information seek the right information go to the right place be found at the right place and at the right time and god helping you you will not die you will fulfill destiny thank you for listening and i want our women to disseminate this information to all that women thank you very much